The call six investigators have learned the Department of Child Services is failing to meet state standards when it comes to caseloads. Only 16% of regions are in compliance with best practice guidelines, causing concern for child advocates and DCS itself. Call six investigator Kara Kinney has the story. The Department of Child Services is tasked with investigating abuse and neglect, but according to this report, only three of 19 regions are in compliance with caseload standards called 1217. That means case managers are supposed to have no more than 12 active cases and 17 children monitored. You want caseworkers to have manageable caseloads so they can give enough attention to the cases. They can be working with providers who are taking care of the children or providing treatment. Kathy Graham is director of IARC. An association of 87 agencies that provide foster care and other services for children in need. Those kinds of things can impact you in, a, in, a, in litigation. She says while DCS may not face any sanctions for violating the 1217 standard, the law is in place for a reason. Before that, the caseloads had been 25 assessments and 35 children so you know, it was much too much for case managers to handle. She says part of the reason many family case managers have too many cases now is because of the DCS hotline which opened in 2010. It increased reports of abuse and neglect. A DCS spokesperson tells us quote due to increased child abuse neglect reports and cases DCS needs to increase the number of family case managers to keep caseloads in line with national child welfare best practice standards. DCS says to get into compliance, the state would need to hire 110 new family case manager positions. Estimated cost, $6.8 million. It won't be easy. Senator Luke Kenley, chair of the state budget committee, points out DCS was already appropriated an additional $35 million in the last budget. Senator Kinley also points out the number of family case managers has doubled since 2004.